Good morning. Welcome to October. Although fall, fall signals the end of the growing season, it also opens the door to our planning for next year. Our annual stewardship effort begins today, and Lauren and I are here to share our mission moments. First John chapter 1, verse 3 tells why we have come. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. I was welcomed into the Wall Street family when my parents joined this church in 1960 after our move to Jeffersonville. Their choice was based on pastoral leadership, the opportunities and the activities available here, and for them, the Yam Cows class, the young adult married class of Wall Street. For Jan, Mark, and I, this church presented possibilities that included Sunday school, children's choir, youth groups, and a wonderful place for hide and seek games. Our Sunday school teachers and youth group leaders were loving, caring people who were vital parts of the Wall Street Village. They were a kind, guiding presence for all of the church's children. Although I do remember one time when my brother's run and play impulses were stifled by one adult. His response was, boy, it's hard to have fun around here sometimes. <laughs> but when we sing the hymn for all the saints, I can see the faces of so many who surrounded the children and young adults of Wall Street with devoted attention and love. That same caring spirit surrounds us as adults here today. I've especially felt that love during the last five years since Bill's death. Several of us know the challenge that life presents when a spouse is lost. Facing days alone can be so difficult. It's a blessing to have the support of our families, but they cope with their own grief and need to lead their own lives. I didn't want to burden Kevin or Kyle, so I found myself standing alone sometimes when bleak, dark days presented themselves. But the reality is, of course, that I've never been alone. I was and am supported by God's love and care, which was and is made real and visible by you. Those dark days were so often brightened by a phone call, a note or a card, or even a surprise left on the front porch that came from someone here at church. Knowing that someone in my Wall Street family was thinking about me, lifted me up and carried me through. I value your hugs, your supportive comments and questions, and your very presence in my life. Jesus told us to love God and to love each other as ourselves. Wall Street Church is a place where members do as they're told. We love God and we cherish and love our members. That verse from 1 John chapter 1 ends with these words. Our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 